The next thing we're going to talk about is energy. Energy is defined as the capacity to do work. The SI unit is Joule, and the symbol for the SI unit is J. Energy will be a scalar quantity. There are many different kinds of energy. Some of the most are these. Please read up on them on your own. However, we will only focus on a few of them because these are the ones that are mainly used in calculations. These are kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. Now let's talk about gravitational potential energy. When something is lifted vertically, work is done against its weight. For example, when this mass if it's lifted a certain height, there will be energy stored up as gravitational potential energy, or in the short form, GPE. If the object that is lifted up has more mass, it would have more GPE. Also, if an object has more height, you would have more GPE. Therefore, quite simply, if you walked up the staircase of your school, and from the, from the second level to the third level, you would be increasing your gravitational potential energy. Similarly, you don't need to walk up the stairs to the third floor to gain GPE. You could also just eat your lunch on the same floor. Increasing your mass would also increase your GPE. The definition of gravitational potential energy is the energy a body possesses because of its position relative to the ground. And therefore, the formula would be GPE equals to MGH where GPE is the gravitational potential energy in joules, the m is the mass of the body in kg, g is the acceleration due to gravity in meters per second squared, or the gravitational field strength in newtons per kg, and lastly, h will be the height above the reference level in meters. So over here, the mass has a potential energy of zero because now it's on the reference level, the base reference level. But if you raise it up, like this to a certain height, you will get the gravitational potential energy of mass times gravity times height. So this is a common trick question. Which of the following diagrams below for the ball gaining the most GPE? First, second or third? Please pause the video here and solve the question on your own and we'll go to the answer soon. Okay, have you gotten your answer? If you had picked any one of these, you would have gotten it wrong because GPE is based on mass, gravity, and height. All these masses are the same. And all these heights are also the same. All of them are actually 3 meters from the ground. So this shows that no matter what pathway the ball goes to get to whatever height it gets to, as long as it's on the same height and it maintains the same mass, of course, the ball will actually gain the same amount of GPE in every situation. So in summary, GPE is the gravitational potential energy of an object, which will be equal to mgh. More mass, you get more GPE. More height, you will also get more GPE.